All right, good morning. Bruce here with Targeted Wealth Creation. I'm going to jump into Misty for you. So we went flying down on Monday. It wasn't pretty, and we came roaring back on Tuesday. So some stocks did better than others. Oh my gosh, look at Misty recover. And how? So Misty, what did Misty do on Tuesday? Well, it was up 9.01 from 1372 to 1495. So what did, uh, sorry, MSTR. What did Misty do? What did Ms. Misty do? Well, she went up 7.34, went from $28 to $30. So those of you that have a average of $30 price or somewhere like that, it's never fun to fall behind on your nab, but this was a nice, nice. Now, I don't know if we're out of the woods yet. I, I, I wish I knew exactly. I mean, again, my position is I'm very bullish on MSTR, on Coinbase, on Bitto, and generally on BTC. So it, it'll pull all of these up. But if I told you that they're all going to take off tomorrow and go to the moon, I'd be lying. I, you know, can they trade down again? Certainly. Or are we going to get back on that 65 upper shelf? Uh, well, we'll see. Again, is this just a bounce for a few days and then we go back down and test that low and go lower? I don't know. So anyway, I give you that information just to mentally try to let you know that it's a volatile asset. And look what this did. It blew right by one of our calls yesterday. All right. So Misty had trades because Misty had 100,000. So again, people are shopping, you know, when it I don't know what the exact open was, but it opened higher, it's obvious, and then continued up. So looking pretty good right there. So let me catch you up on that impact. So they put on 58 contracts of a 1550. Okay, so we're out of the money, 3.63. Look at yesterday. You can tell how far we're already. We're at 14.95, and they put a 14.35 when we were down around uh, 13.72. So when crypto wants to run, boy, it can run, right? And especially MSTR, who has one of the highest volatilities of any stock in the yield max funds. So, and one of the highest of any stocks, but there are some high flyers uh, that Ulti owns. Okay, so that's pretty positive, but again, we run by one, but boy, does that help our synthetic, and I'll share that with you. Okay, so let's go look at that 1550 situation. So we wrote, obviously, 58, the same number of contracts, buy, call, sell, put, well, we're under, but we're not as massively under as we were, right? So we're getting about one and a half times for our put as we do to buy our call. Once we run past 1550, that switches to even right around 1550, give or take one having an advantage. And then as you rise, that's why sometimes when the fund's not doing as well overall, they like to write a higher strike out there and let the fund work its way up and collect money and, and work that debt off, right? So we're 3.5% underneath it. Uh, and there'll be more rolls probably uh, before this 719 unless, you know, BTC and MSTR just take off. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you'll have a scenario where they may keep it and just let, you know, the money pile up because it'll just, look at the difference here and I'll show you on holdings because that's about where I was going to jump to for a minute. Um, look at this. We were just, what was the amount? 30.8 30 million yesterday we had a paper loss from the day before where it was 10. So we went crashing down. And then look at us roar back. 
So we're only 9.8 million in debt with 10 million shares. So it's like a dollar debt hanging out there, uh, which can be made up in a day or two. Now, we don't want it to just keep roaring in the sense of collecting income on the weekly. But if it does, we're going to make it on the synthetic. So yin and yang, you know. Um, I, I always wish that these things could just go up 5% a week or 4% a week and our synthetic would just keep, yeah, that's a perfect world, you're never going to get that. You're going to get 30% in a week and you're going to get a 25% crash in a week and then you're going to get flat for three days or something. So just the nature of the beast, especially these high IV uh, stocks, you got to love them and you got to hate them sometimes. So let's jump to the weekly. I'll come back to this holdings and share more data, but I, I just wanted to emphasize that synthetic. So here we added the 58. So look at all these strikes, right? For the mo I mean, yesterday those were 13 and 14 percent out of the money. So we're now ran past the 1435 because we're at 1495. Now, where are we going to go today? I don't know. Right? Pre-market is so early pre-market when I'm recording this, so it's not even really valid. But BTC is still, I think, well, let me look on my other monitor. It's still 61.6, but I think it was a little higher in the trading day. Let me check it so I can just share with you what the range yesterday. Yeah, it got to 62.5 twice um, and a little over 62,000 in the trading day. And then after hours, it got to 62.5 and it's around 61.6. So yeah, we kind of traded up slowly into the trading day and we're around 60 and a half during the trading day and as high as over 62. All right, so it's, it's kind of holding what it's had. Let, let's see how the day shakes out for Wednesday, see what kind of economic news. So anyway, we're back in the 30s. We hold a lot, but we went from capturing, I think, with that low yesterday, we had 60 or 70 percent capture rate on all our calls. Now we're back to like 11 percent. But again, if we just tread water, if we just hang out in the 14s, even if it's 1490, we're going to lose some on the 86, but look at all these others. We just don't want it to run by 1555. So get up to 1550, we win on all of these, right? Every one of them except for 86. So, you know, you win on 1880-ish, right? That's a win on your weekly, so you win, you know, 5.2 million or 5.3 million. It's just sometimes when you run by that by a lot. So now let's go to holdings and I'll show you. So now they've got this at 20, 20 of these 81 are, are still time premium. But on this 1435, like 60 of it is because it ran past that guy, right? So if that's 60, that's still 480, 490,000. We only made 190, so we're going to lose like 300,000, but we stand to win, you know, 5.3 5 or something like that. So anyway, uh, we shall see. And here's your synthetic, right? That just increased tremendously. So all together, we added 100,000 shares, less than a percent. But still, we're adding. You know, people are buying Misty. It, it's been the, the goat of yield. Nobody even close. Nobody even close. Now, it has a smaller base, so maybe over time there'll be people that overtake it. But with its three months payment, nobody's had a three. Nobody's had a four. So until that gets broken. All right, so we had $30.13. Um, is what we closed at. Fair value is thirty dollars and two cents. All right, let's jump. I don't think there's much else. Let's jump into payouts. So you know we're adding to the position. Our synthetic we collected a couple hundred thousand. So we're up to dollar sixteen in total income for the month. So they're going to pay us a dollar sixteen if that stays the same. 
Nah, I, 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 I kind of see a minimum in my mind of a dollar fifty ish, uh, and people would be like, "Oh, it's never paid below two fifty. I mean, they're right there, right? But you can't just keep paying money that you don't have. I mean, you can if you're comfortable, but sooner or later it's going to bite you. So if they up it to two fifty again or two thirty this month. Then next month, if it earns two, they're going to have to pay two or a dollar seventy or something. So sooner or later, you got to bite the bullet. Let, let's see what Yomax does. I'll continue to give you the numbers. And I, you know, right now, if I had to pick something, I think they yield it at sixty-three, and they pay us about a buck fifty-nine. Now, that's assuming this ten says we've collected all of that five point six million. We probably won't unless we go back down to 1440-ish, 1435, right? Um, now, if we write some more calls with people buying more, we'll knock this number down. Um, but even knocking that number, it's, it's 1.4 on 10 million shares. You're talking, you know, 20 cents or something. So th this will definitely be the most interesting payout Ms. Misty has ever experienced. So hang in there, guys. Uh, I'm sure you're happier for those that <laughs> check their accounts. Coney, Misty, Ybit were all up. And, and, you know, in general, things were, were much, much better. Okay, I'll continue with other videos. Videos, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's fun and education. Okay, guys, and entertainment. Bye.